When you see the record of Roy Hodgson, I follow Roy Hodgson over the years. He's been in Norway, was a Viking uh, for one year, a, a brilliant man with international experience, and then I think the appointment makes sense. It's a big day for Norwegians uh, playing in England. Uh, I've played England three times, two draws and I, one win, so I won't mention my record against them. But we have a team that is now preparing for our qualification. Uh, so this is going to be a big, big day for Norwegians. The, the game is big time sellout and we're so looking forward to it. But we, we have been good at home. Uh, we're having a problem winning the big games like Denmark, we beat Portugal at home. Uh, but we are in, a, in the middle of uh, not a generation kind of thing, but we used to have like 20, 30 players in the Premiership. Now we have uh, two or three if we're lucky. I remember we played England in 1993 and you had the likes of Chris Woods, David Platt, Gassap and everybody. And in the team meeting, he was going through the team, going through all the weakness of the English players. We went out and then, then he just said, hey boys, wait, wait, wait. And he was still looking at the English team and he said to us, let's not underestimate England. And we were playing England and, and we couldn't believe it. So the belief we had when we came up there, played you, it was unbelievable. And uh, he tries to get that in now as well. But with the new players now coming into the team, it's harder to get them to play exactly like Egil Olsen wants to. Uh, because uh, at that time we had a very good, uh, good generation of players, who at the same time was of the peak of their career. Now, now it's harder, now we have Morten Gams Pedersen just going down with, with Blackburn. We have Jon Anderis uh, and Breda Hangland doing very well at, at Fulham, but that's more or less it. Uh, so uh, we are struggling. We have some in German who are doing well. Moa Abdelua, uh, as you will see, hopefully is not injured when we play England. He's been doing well in, in Germany. So there's not many of uh, them to choose from at the moment. I think sometimes you just race your games. And as you know, Norwegians are England mad. Uh, I remember when we played them in 1993, uh, uh, I guess half of the, our population wanted England to qualify because we hadn't qualified since 1938. And they asked us, what are you guys doing during the World Cup? Which was a fair comment. I think it's about racing your game. And I think that fits our way of playing uh, at different times. And this was the period as well when we played with Graham Taylor and there was a video, do I not like that? And it was all that kind of stuff. And we just love that. We love playing Holland. Uh, we love playing England, Brazil, and that's why we have very good st st statistics. Uh, we will follow England, uh, but through Champions League, I think a lot of you, when you see kids in Norway, it's not only the England shirts now going around, it's Barcelona, Real Madrid, as it probably will be here as neutral uh, as well. But England is always has a place in our heart. We had a match of the day since the end of the 60s. So every Norwegian, would, I would say with respect of itself, will have a, have a favourite team in, in England. So And now we get Stola Solbakken, the new manager of Wolverhampton. So now the people will uh, start cheering Wolverhampton again, I guess. Well, I love history and uh, I can't know if I lived at the time when we lost to England, so I can't see us losing. So, But it's going to be a fantastic game uh, and we're so thrilled about having England. As you know, we will be to the first time where, when Björg Lillian said his uh, phrase of uh, Maggie Thatcher, we've beaten you all. As well, you will be so welcome because for Norwegian football, uh, it's great to have you there. And also for the Norwegian people, we love English football and we love English people to, to, to show the friendship between our two countries. So it's a fantastic uh, time for us.